The Brady Bunch was one of the great family sitcoms that ran from 1969 to 1974. Join Facts First to learn more about the Brady Bunch cast then and now. Maureen McCormick, Marsha Brady Maureen McCormick played Marsha Brady, the eldest of the Brady daughters and the one who had many insecurities, despite her perceived popularity. Maureen had a few bit parts in popular TV shows beginning in the 60s. These included shows such as The Farmer's Daughter, Bewitched, Honey West, and I Dream of Jeannie. But it was her role as Marsha Brady that caused her career to take off. This became the role she was best known for. While she appreciated the character and her fame, there were times when she resented Marsha. She struggled to find decent roles in other shows and films. She sadly also spent many years struggling with addiction to drugs like cocaine and quaaludes. She did, however, manage to secure a supporting role in the 1980 film The Idol Maker. She also appeared in the B-movies Evocation in Hell and Skate Town USA. One of her best-known roles outside of Marsha Brady was in the 1997 independent film Dogtown. She managed to clean up and rid herself of her drug addiction. She's also come to terms with her life with Marsha Brady, and she now gladly appears in reunion programs and documentaries where she discusses the show. Eve Plum, Jan Brady Eve Plum began her acting career in the mid-60s when she was a preteen. Her early career consisted of bit parts in popular TV shows like My Brother the Angel, The Virginian, and Gunsmoke. Her breakthrough was as Jan Brady on The Brady Bunch. She was the middle daughter of the Brady kids and often envious of her older sister Marcia's popularity. Her character had many insecurities, including her freckles and her need to wear glasses. She even invented a boyfriend to cover up her insecurity of being single. Eve Plum continued to work regularly in TV following The Brady Bunch. Now in her 60s, she still gets regular work on TV. Still, as with Maureen McCormick, Jan Brady is the character Eve Plum is best known for. She's embraced the character and loves discussing it in documentaries. She has also appeared in reunion TV shows and movies where she reprises her role. Susan Olsen, Cindy Brady Susan Olsen began her acting career with bit parts in TV shows like Ironside and Gunsmoke. She also appeared in the film The Trouble with Girls, featuring Elvis Presley. She won the role of Cindy Brady when she was eight years old. Cindy was the youngest Brady daughter and often tried to be the center of attention. She was eager to become famous and also had a knack for telling tales. Susan was lauded for her performance as Cindy Brady and was featured as number 34 in VH1's 2005 documentary, The 100 Greatest Kids Stars. Following the Brady Bunch, she ventured into graphic design. She was involved in marketing the popular glow-in-the-dark models released by Converse. She later worked as a talk show host at the LA-based radio station KLSX. She didn't do too much acting following the Brady Bunch, but has appeared in reunion shows and documentaries. She also appears in the occasional movie, with her latest being the 2018 romantic drama Monsoon. Barry Williams, Greg Brady Greg Brady is the oldest of the Brady brothers and presents himself as being cool and confident. He's often the ringleader of whatever schemes the Brady kids are planning. Barry Williams loved playing Greg Brady and remembered his time on the show fondly. He began his career like many of his fellow co-stars, playing bit parts in popular TV shows. His early credits included roles in shows like General Hospital, Dragnet, Marcus Welby MD, and Mission Impossible. His big break was as Greg Brady, and he never resented the fact that this became his most well-known character. He continues to appear in reunion shows and documentaries about the Brady Bunch. Since the show, he's had roles in popular TV shows like Full House, That 70s Show, and Scrubs. He's also appeared in the TV films Mega Piranha and Bigfoot. He has a lead role in the upcoming film Hardliner, written and directed by John Wesley Norton. Christopher Knight, Peter Brady Christopher Knight played Peter Brady, the middle Brady son. He had a few bit parts on different TV shows before landing the role. He loved his role on the show and often discusses the show and his character in interviews and on documentaries. He's appeared in spin-off shows and TV movies where he's reprised his role as Peter. He's now an occasional actor focusing on independent films. He's had roles in the films Nowhere, The Family Jewels, Fallen Angels, and Guardian Angels. However, since completing The Brady Bunch, he's mostly focused on his entrepreneurial ventures. He ran a 3D graphics company, a company that creates educational products, and ran a TV tuning company called Escape Labs. He was very right, successful in the good. tech industry and continues to be involved in different entrepreneurial ventures. 
Mike Lookinland, Bobby Brady. Mike Lookinland played the youngest of the Brady boys, Bobby. He had a few acting credits on TV shows and in a few commercials before landing the role. Like his other co-stars, he would forever be defined by his role on The Brady Bunch. He's appeared in a few spin-off shows and TV movies about The Brady Bunch. His most recent acting credit was in the 2021 TV movie, Blending Christmas. He's also worked behind the scenes in a variety of roles, ranging from production assistant to assistant cameraman. Outside The Brady Bunch, his most notable role was as Philip Albright in the feature film The Towering Inferno. His behind-the-scene works includes credits on films such as Halloween 5, China O'Brien, Heaven Sent, and Dark Matter. Florence Henderson, Carol Brady Florence Henderson played Carol Martin, who later married Mike Brady to become Carol Brady, the matriarch of The Brady Bunch. Florence had a few bit parts on TV until the 50s when she landed the role. In the 70s, she was also known for her starring role in the musical Song of Norway. Her portrayal of Carol Brady made her a household name, so much so that she appeared as the character on other TV shows, including on many episodes of The Love Boat. She also had a cameo as herself in the comedy film The Naked Gun 33 and a Third. In later years, she had bit parts on popular TV shows, including Dave's World, Ellen, Trophy Wife, and Sophia the First. She's also appeared in films like Shakes the Clown, For Heaven's Sake, and Bad Grandmas. She died on November 24, 2016, at age 82. Robert Reed, Mike Brady Robert Reed was an accomplished TV and film actor. After a few bit parts on TV shows, he appeared in a lead role in the 1961 horror film Bloodlust. He also had recurring roles on The Defenders and Dr. Kildare which made him a well-known presence on American TV. He continued to appear in popular TV shows throughout the 70s, but his role as Mike Brady made him a huge star. Unlike many of his co-stars, he managed to escape typecasting. At the same time he played Mike Brady, he also played Adam Tobias on the detective series Mannix. He later received praise for his role on the miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. He also played Dr. William Reynolds on Roots. He continued acting, mostly on television, throughout his career. His final film role was in the 1991 film Prime Target. He also had two different roles in the TV show Jake and the Fat Man. He was a versatile actor who had a prolific career that spanned almost four decades. He died on May 12, 1992, at age 59. Ann B. Davis, Alice Ann B. Davis had a prolific career in film and television that spanned four decades. Her first major role was as Charmaine Schultze Schultz on The Bob Cummings Show. She also played Mrs. Wilson on The John Forsyth Show. Her role as housekeeper Alice on The Brady Bunch became her best-known role. She loved the role and appeared in many spin-offs. She also had roles in TV shows like Love American Style, The Love Boat, and Something So Right. She also appeared in the films All Hands on Deck and Love Her Come Back. She died on June 1, 2014, at age 88. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite cast member from The Brady Bunch? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.